artificial intelligence tool, Chat GPT. Artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence. And artificial, intelligence. artificial intelligence. We, the field, the technology, the industry, cause significant harm to the world. Before this year, the most you had probably thought about AI was in reference to movies where they were evil supercomputer overlords determined to wipe out humanity. But then ChatGPT came out, and now everyone and their grandma is discussing whether or not we're all going to lose our jobs. But before we start praying to the toaster, let's try and understand how AI is improving at such an exponential rate and what this means for us. Okay, so what even is AI? Well, if you look up AI definition on Google, it comes back with three-toed sloth. But I have a feeling that's not what we're going for. So let's get a little bit more specific. What is artificial intelligence? Artificial intelligence is the theory and development of computer systems able to perform tasks normally requiring human intelligence. So in toddler terms, trying to make a computer mimic the processes of a human brain. Before I go all matrix on you, not all AI is bad. And you've most definitely used some in your day-to-day -day life. Both Alexa and Siri are AI, albeit sometimes not very good ones. <clears throat> yes, Siri, I'm talking to you. And so while AI has exploded in the media in the past five months, Siri was released way back in 2011 on the iPhone 4S. So while it may look like it has come out of nowhere, there has been a gradual improvement of AI over the past 12 years, right under your nose. Or thumbs. All that being said, there has been an incredible improvement in AI within just the first half of this year. But what's different? Well, I don't know if you've noticed, but AI isn't the only thing that's changed since 2011. I mean, look at the iPhone 4 compared to the iPhone 14. The iPhone 4 is about to join the Nokia in the club of things kids today would call ancient technology, while on the iPhone 14, I can watch this really cool YouTube video. Like and subscribe. AI is improving at a greater pace because technology is improving at a greater pace. This exponential growth in computing power is one of the biggest factors propelling AI forward. And without getting too computer geeky, pretty much computers have a bunch of hardware such as GPUs and TPUs, and the improvement of these components have enabled faster data processing, meaning computers can do more complex computations. And yes, I think trying to mimic the process of the human brain counts as a complex computation. So to put it simply, better computers equals more complex computing equals better AI. But still, while that is why they have improved so much over the past decade, how is AI such as Midjourney, an AI image generating software, gone from creating images like this to images like this in just a matter of months? Well, it all comes down to machine learning. Think of the human mind. As a baby, we know nothing. We don't know left from right, or even how horrible the 2010 adaptation of The Last Airbender is. And that's because we've been taught nothing yet. But as we grow older and learn, our minds change and grow. This is what machine learning is for AI. The more people use AI and the more information it is fed, the more it improves and learns. And currently, ChatGPT has over 100 million users. So that's a lot of learning it's doing. As well as OpenAI, the organization behind ChatGPT, periodically training the model on large and diverse data sets. No, literally, I asked ChatGPT and that's what it said. And once again, due to the improvement in technology, the quality of these data sets is improving, meaning better AI training. The current AI is almost in an improvement loop. AI is improving because it's improving. The more it improves, the more it can learn, and the more it can learn, well, the more it can improve. The final factor in this rapid improvement is competition. Think back to the Great Space Race in 1957. In just 12 years, the world went from launching the very first satellite to landing on the moon. And while we would have gotten there eventually, the mass amounts of funding and drive due to the competition between the USSR and the USA 
greatly accelerated the advancements. A similar outlook can be placed on AI. While you may be most familiar with ChatGPT due to social media, nearly every major tech company has their own AI and is developing them to compete with one another. And this means a lot of money is being pumped into the industry. Google invested over $300 million for a 10% stake in Anthropic, an artificial intelligence company that was founded by a former employee of OpenAI. And that's not even their own AI. With this boom in investments and the pressure of knowing their competitors are also rapidly improving, mass amounts of time and money are being dedicated to the advancements in AI. Now the big question, are we all doomed? Well, at the moment, no. While it is incredible that I can ask AI to rewrite the entirety of Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet as if Snoop Dogg said it, I do first still have to prompt it to do so. At this stage, AI is more like a very competent personal assistant. It can do brilliant things, but a human still needs to ask it to do so, as well as knowing how to use the information they are given. Many experts agree that fully creative human level AI is quite a while away. I mean, it's a whole different ballpark teaching artificial intelligence to mimic human creativity and take what humans think is beautiful and creative and put that into an algorithm, then teaching them facts. Either way, it's non-disputable that AI will forever change the world. Let's just hope that AI is more Baymax than Ultron.